What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jump to the Game Do here. Welcome to you back to another episode of Dang and Robot 2. Goodbye, despair. We were hoping things would progress smoothly. That's right, a common, ordinary progression would have been just fine. Like, for example, the enemy's lair crumbling right after you defeat the final boss, or the dead friend suddenly reappearing. It would have just been fine if things had progressed like that. That's the kind of old school progression that we were hoping for. Not this unreasonable turn of events. I know Nekamaru is a robot now and I'm not happy about it, but it's okay. Uh, the name's Nekomaru Nidai. I've been reborn in the rivers of hell. Nekomaru? Is that you? We're retouching on this, that's good. <laughs> no matter how you look at it, I'm still me. No matter how we look at it. This isn't you at all. Jeez. Jeez, you guys are a strange lot. You all have such big wide eyes. Oh, uh, perhaps you've fallen in love with this metallic body of mine. <laughs> I already know you what you want to say just by looking in your ears. Then again, I'm a former team manager. Huh? What happened? You seem you look like a ghost or something. Hey man, don't go scaring Miss Sonya like that in your strange ass mask. He raised his stammering voice. Kazuichi grabbed onto Nekomaru's head and. I already know. Come on and take it off! Ow, wow, 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 stop it! Stop it! Hey, hey. Huh? Why would it come off? What? Are you, are you freaking kidding me? Holy crap! It's not just for show! It's not just for show, it's pure electricity! I've been reborn as pure electricity! <laughs> If you're seriously Nekamaru, Damn it. that's my fault, right? You ended up getting a body like that. And it's my fault, right? Sorry. S sorry, Nekamaru. I, I don't know how to apologize for this. <laughs> don't worry about it. Lots of stuff happens when you're alive. You serious? You're to a beat. Is this really okay? <laughs> if you keep sweating the small stuff, you're going to get end up getting more gray hairs. Hey, hey. Commenting on every little thing he does is a waste of time. Uh, hey. But... You're really Nekomaru, right? You've come back for us, right? That's right! I've rec res resurrected from the depths of hell in a shining silver! How are you even okay with that? It doesn't even compare to my eye patch. How can you accept that body? It's better to just be alive. Huh? It's better to just be alive. Hey, don't you agree? If I'm alive, then I can still talk to you all. If I'm alive, then I can still fight. Show some it doesn't matter what happens to my body. Not one bit. Amazing. Y you're amazing. Nekomaru is brimming with hope. It's better to just be alive. I do understand what Nekomaru is saying, but no matter how we make sense of it, it's just too weird. If this isn't a novel or a movie, this is reality. Can you say something that unexplainable, really, to be allowed it to happen? No, instead, why did this end up happening? Um, anyway, I'm glad that he's fine, right? Right, Nekamaru? Definitely came back to us. What's this? My, my, am I interrupting your touching reunion? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, why is Nekamaru a robot? Um, Unfortunately, it was too difficult to try and save Nekamaru from the jaws of death. But hey, they don't call me a psycho pop magician for nothing. Oh, oh my, my goodness! goodness. Uh, Such so, a oh. wonderful before and after has occurred. I don't know. Okay, one thing's for certain. I was actually pretty on spot on with that. <laughs> pretty proud of that. <laughs> Appears to be a little too dramatic. Thanks to that, I'm getting stabbed by all these envious stares. Hey, hey, hey! If you're really a robot, what's going on with your thought processes? Is that a program too? Then what happened to other stuff like your self-awareness and... Fool. Fool! How many times do I have to tell you that that doesn't matter? No matter what shape I take or I or form I take, I am Nekamaru and Edai! Is he... Is he going to power through the rest of his life with his new abilities? Hmm. That's kind of a... That, that kind of reaction. It looks like you really are self-aware. <sighs> that means this technology is insane and I've never heard of anything like this before! Oh, the what a com commoner considers advanced is not much of an advancement at all. If you think advancements exist in colleges and laboratories, that's just a huge understand misunderstanding. 
the real advancements exist in the place where you can pass on that talent. Hey, hey. And you're saying that to you? Where are you really that amazing? You. Stop admiring him. <sighs> you stupid stuff, Soy. Don't go screwing with people's bodies like that. What? Hold on. If you harm Monokuma, you're going to... <laughs> you intend to defy me again? You're quite the barbarian. Disappear. Jeez, this time you will definitely fall prey to my Monokuma bazooka. What? We're replaying the sequence. Once again, the world shook and turned to stark white. And as if surrounding the environment, all the sound was blown away by the impact, turning completely white. Within the whiteness, I heard the voice say it again. Oh, he can take it this time. Uh oh. Check it out. I'm intact. I have no injuries at all. Hey, hey. Are you fucking serious? That blast he took doesn't even have a single scratch. Awesome, Mason. Seriously, a real robot. Hey, can you let me disassemble, disassemble you? And can you let me assemble? Or Hey, can you let me just dis disassemble you? Can you let me disassemble you and show me your insides? No, thank you! <laughs> That's for me and me only. No, it's not actually because he's a robot and I'm not allowed to do that anymore. But I wish. <laughs> if, I get if, it, if I get disassembled, I end I'll end up dying. By the way. Uh, I suppose I should fill you in. Even though he's a robot now, if Nekomaru is killed, it is still going to be counted as a murder, okay? Of course. It is possible Nekomaru might kill somebody instead, though. <laughs> Don't say such foolish things. It'll never happen. <laughs> well, with this in mind, enjoy the killing school trip together. Once again, I hope we can all get along. It's impossible. It's going to be a while before I can mentally process this. Honestly, Fuyuhiko, I'm with you, honestly, with this um. one. Um, will Nekomaru return ever, never, will Nekomaru never return to his original form? If that's the case, it is a burden for Nekomaru. Sheesh. Hey, hey, it's not like I can come back as a monster. I'm just a robot now, you know? Mm. I'm sorry, I can't really see the di a difference. Uh -huh. Well, consider this a little promotion. By making a robot one of the main characters, my genuine mystery is transformed into a sci-fi mystery. Mm. And the hard-boiled tra is transformed into the cyberpunk. Hey. You're totally destroying the genres! <laughs> oh well, who cares? As long as it's fun, it's totally fine. <laughs> oh, as long as it's fun, it's totally fine. That is a scary thought process. As I listened to Monokuma's boisterous laugh once again, I was forced to accept. This island is not the day-to-day -day world I know. It's mad world where strange is accepted as normal. Causes, reasoning, circumstances, and foreshadowing. These things do not apply here at all. That means what that mean or that's what it means to live in a mad world. Chapter four. Do ultimate robots do ultimate robots dream of clockwork? Daily life. Oh boy. The next morning, we gathered at the hotel restaurant like we always do. Man, the food today was awesome as usual. As always, you sure do eat a lot, but I feel relaxed just looking at you. It's impossible not to worry about it. No matter what, it feels really strange. It's not something I'll get used to very easily. Hey, hey. Anyway, uh, what are you going to do, Mekamaru? Mekamaru? You're used to the, you're used to him already. What am I gonna do for food? Like, do you need oil? Hey, hey. Regular, premium. Well. Nah, he doesn't need oil since he's a he made of pure electricity. Maybe he's battery powered or something. <laughs> I can totally eat normal food, especially rice dishes. I can't keep my eyes off of them. <laughs> However, I've been feeling a little down today, so I I don't have much of an appetite. All right. Are you malfunctioning? If you show me your insides, I might be able to fix you up real quick. Get off of him, Kazuichi. <laughs> okay, that's a good line. You know, 
there's some FOMO people that need to understand what that means, but I won't name names. <laughs> so, you're here too. Sorry. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Maybe I should know my place and not speak out of turn when everyone's gathered together like this. However, I just wanted to make sure I spoke to you about what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? Mm. That person? Mikon called her beloved, and I can't help but think about that, and it won't get out of my head. What? Um, am I just a coward for worrying about that? Let me tell you It crossed this. my mind as well, but based on how she phrased it. So this is the end. This is really... Now I can go to my beloved and be forgiven, as I can finally see my beloved. Please forgive me, as my hopes of finally seeing you die with me. This too it was, the will of as if she was speaking to an entity that does not exist within this world. <laughs> then there's nothing to worry about? More importantly, we should be thinking about the future foundation, our enemy. It, that fearsome organization known as World Ender is truly responsible for our imprisonment. If you bridge, then you investigating who is behind the organization is our top priority. The future foundation, hmm? The word, that word, future. Does it have anything to do with the ancient ruin? I mean, there's no doubt that that symbol on the door of the ancient ruin was the Japanese word for future. If that's the case, it might be better if we investigate the ancient ruins later. However, however, there's the more I think about it, the less sense it makes. Why would an organization that's secretly plotting the end of the world make us suffer like this? They want they went to a lot of trouble to abduct us and bring us to this island. Not only that, they took away several years' worth of memories of our lives at Hope's Peak Academy. For reasons that are completely unknown. Future Foundation World in there! There's obviously nothing wrong with you if you believe something so unrealistic. Hey, hey. You're the one to talk. But, but what we should be most concerned about is as it relates to the Future Foundation. Isn't that right? Is that traitor from the Future Foundation that's hiding among us. I wonder who it is. The true identity of an outsider hiding among us and trying to ensnare us. I won't be fooled. Nagi was obviously the most suspicious, though. <laughs> Even a childish organization blathering about the ending of the world wouldn't accept someone like me. Man. Nobody wants a worthless human like me to join their group. <laughs> you guys should know that feeling well, right? You think so? And that's the reason why you're not the traitor? I don't understand your theory at all. Huh? Then, who do you think is most suspicious? It's obvious. I nominate Hayame. You need to go die in a hole. Huh? Well. well, isn't it normal to doubt the most unlikely candidate? You dumbass. Yeah. Not just that. You're the only one who still doesn't know who their ultimate talent is you possesses. If we're being going based on the outsider hiding among a group of ultimates, Hayame should be the one doubted right away. Huh? Then Hayame's the traitor? Of course not! What are you even saying? You shouldn't raise your voice like that, Kazuichi. We might become even more suspicious of you, you know. That this is obviously your fault anyway. Down. Stop fighting! <laughs> Don't you think fighting with ourselves like this is a Monokuma's trap? That, 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 that might be true, but... Alright, I'll just handle this. Just leave this matter to me! What do you mean? To eliminate this tense atmosphere, allow me to present to you with my new function that I discovered last night. The new function? Don't tell me! Is it a flight? Can you fly? No! It is a non-conventional function, or not a conventional function like that. It's a far more practical and novel. Now then, let's go! <coughs> oh god. <coughs> I can't do these voices. Oh my god. Is he crying? Behold! Nenekamaru's crying? Hardly, I'm not even crying. My right eye dispenses cola, and my left eye dispenses ribose tea. Oh, are you kidding me? What? Are you a soda fountain? Damn it. I know we'll be here all day if we keep commenting on every little thing you do. Don't fuck but what the me. hell was Monokuma thinking giving you a function like that? You're so evil. That guy, he's definitely fooling around. Monokuma is just toying with the other people's bodies. I too was modified by Monokuma, so I totally understand how Nekamaru feels. But don't be depressed. You'll get used to it. It's surprising how quickly you'll get used to it. Don't get 
Go, don't go buddy into our conversations all of a sudden. I'll kill you until you die from it, you stupid rabbit. That's an extremely violent thing to say to someone. You should, sh you showing up that at this time means, did you come to tell us you've defeated another mono beast? Ta-da, you're correct. Once again, you can visit a new island, so please take this opportunity to get along with everyone. I ain't going, what a drag. Huh? Even if we go to the new island, it's not like we're going to find any way to escape this place anyway. You are right. Rather, I feel it is an opportunity to kill increases every time we go to a new island. So it might be best if we don't go. I, I don't you. know what you're planning, fiend, but we're not going to fall for it. That's, That's a misunderstanding. I was just... Blame. Oh, jeez. How annoying. I'm just stay horrible. back and leave for the rest to your big brother. I'll give you an example of how to lure these guys, little sis. Hey. What are you doing? You're acting like we're allies or something. And getting absolutely stupid. Didn't I tell you to stay back? <laughs> oh, God. S U I C I D E. Why does that spell a word that I... Uh-oh. 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 I don't like the word that spells! It's impossible to defend against it or evade it. S. It does spell that word, and then there's two random letters. There. I know I have mopped up. The annoying one. Special please, okay, Thomas. since you are feeling down in the dumps, I'll make sure you guys are excited until your nose will bleed. Compared to the earlier investigations, I've prepared a special treat that's completely different than before. Mm. Treat. Nice. Oh, you took the bait. I guess it's true. If you want to get a shut in out of her room, then carrots work the best. Huh? Who the fuck cares about that? Hurry up and just tell us who <laughs> what the treat is. Oh, it's an amazing treat. Don't wet your pants, but, well, okay, if you do, just don't spray it on me. I've prepared a bunch of stuff that you guys might find interesting on this new island. Miracle! Such as clues about the future foundation. Huh? huh? <laughs> such as parts that may be useful for making a ship. You serious? Are you for real? News. Also, and also your student profiles from your time at Hope Peak Academy. Huh? So, do your best to explore. Take care. Hey, hey. What, what should we do? You know. Our I... only option is to go, obviously. We might be able to go home if we have ship parts. Yep. I plan to go too. If there are clues about the future foundation, we need to make sure that we see them. Hajime. What about you, Hajime? Of course you're going, right? If you look at your student profile, you might be able to find out what your shining talent is. <laughs> It's a chance for you to clear any suspicion, right? What suspicions? I don't think anyone here doubts me, except for you. What? Ah, I see. But if there's a clue about my talent, I want to know what it is. There's a reason Hope Peaks Academy chose me, the talent I possess. These things matter to me, so there's no way I'm not worried about it. It seems you've all prepared yourselves for the worst. That means we're going to go, right? Everyone is, if everyone is going, then I shall accompany you as well. But there's also the possibility that Monokuma has set a trap. We should be careful of where we step. I can't stop thinking about that ancient ruin that might hold the clues to the future foundation. But we should start exploring this new island. <clears throat> Woo! I said that in such a sarcastic tone. I didn't mean that sarcastically. Nekumaru's voice just absolutely murders mine. Um, because it's like loud and deep and exaggerated. Um, I had a dumb thought, but whatever, it's fine. Dumb thoughts be dumb thoughts, and they don't have to be presented. Um, anyways, so my big thing, right, with where we're at in the story, right, is I have a stupid sneaking suspicion we're not going to find our talent. I have a feeling that either we find our talent. There's, there is two branching paths that I see here. Branching path one. Oh, let's go the other way. It's going to be faster. Branching path one is we find our talent. And that's cool. Branching path two. 
Oh, I got an achievement for walking steps. Cool. Branching path two is we don't find our ultimate ability and it's whited out. And Nagito laid claim to being the ultimate lucky student, but instead we were. Um, that's my other theory because like, here's the thing. We, we very well could be the ultimate lucky. Um, the mono beast was blocking that. This branch just appeared all of a sudden. I've been wondering this for a while, but is something as pathetic as Monomy able to defeat those mono beasts? No, it would just be a waste of time to think about something like that. It's useless to think about things that are a waste of time. I've learned so much from during my time here. Well, I mean, yeah, it's that it is a pretty useless thing to be thinking about. As I walked across the bridge, I started to see scenery of a new island on the other side. Whoa! An amusement park? Okay. I mean, I'm not opposed to a music amusement park. It's like this whole island is one giant amusement park. It looks fun, amazing, and exciting, and thrilling. Even creepier. Yeah, yeah. The horror house. I said horror house, by the way. There's a creepy looking building that doesn't even seem like it belongs to the music park. Is that supposed to be a haunted house? Hi, Sonia. Um, I don't really understand it, but this island is certainly feels festive. Perhaps. If Huyu Yoko and Abuki were here, they would have definitely enjoyed this. Yeah. I don't like what the hell? What is wrong with this island? Why is there... Why is this here when they're forcing us to kill each other? This is such bad taste. The sign on the top of the... At the top of the building definitely says Horror House, but... It's like whatever this building used to be was converted into a hot house or something. <laughs> Busami's house? Oh no! And it said Shatini on it. <laughs> Ever since he took away my magic stick, Malcolm has been doing whatever he pleases. I have been reduced to a role of the unwanted child, and my influence is weaker than it has ever been. And not just that. Look at what he did to my house. This is too much. There's nothing good about this at all. If he keeps up, history will remember me as the greatest character who to ever become the one-shot punchline. Oh. Uh, hi, May. You were here? You didn't notice until now. <laughs> How terrible. As your teacher, to cry in front of one of my students. That haunted house over there, is that your house? <laughs> it was, but Monica would get bullying me and, ended up, and it ended up like this. Uh. Uh, it was supposed to be cute, but my house is supposed to be cute. Uh, you can't. I understand that you're interested, but you cannot go inside. Even the teachers have a private side if their students are not allowed to see. Also, you're a boy of a certain age. If you come inside, I'll make sure I leave the door open halfway. Otherwise, my mommy won't shut up about it. <laughs> what am I saying? It's just a what-if scenario, okay? Anyway, this is Monami's house, and it's safe to say... We're not going to be allowed inside, so this was a waste of time to stay here any longer. I should hurry up and go somewhere else. Um, yeah, we should. Um, what the heck was Usami's house? Poor Usami. I feel bad. Usami's just the punching bag that's just ever going to be here. Oh, this is another spot. I, I almost passed by it because it was so close. <clears throat> Nazumi Castle. That looks like Chuck E. Cheese, but like a dimension Chuck E. Cheese. This amusement park castle is mouse-themed. There's a lot of different things I could say about this building, but I probably shouldn't say anything at all. What? Well, what? Yeah. Mice are the only thing that I can't handle! Who cares? Uh, uh, um, you too? You don't like mice either? No. Well, um, we're siblings after all. <laughs> yeah. No, not, not mice. I don't like them. Mouse. Ah. Not mice! They're gonna chew through my ears! What are these couple of loud mouse? I feel like my stress level keeps rising around them. Honestly, I feel bad. That's what they're there for. Hey, Katsuichi. Oh my. This building, it's full of dangerous areas. I feel like I should go say something about it. Wow, what a coincidence. I was thinking the same thing. Ooh. Well, no matter how fancy it is, it's not gonna be hot. It's not, it's got nothing on Miss Sonia's cancel. After all, she's the real deal. Miss Sonia is a 100% pure princess who lives in a 100% pure castle. Don't talk so confidently about the castle that you've never seen before. Facts. Hey, hey, I was just wondering. You. Is a mere human going to offer his opinion to me, an overlord? Fascinating. 
fascinating, you fiend. I'll play your game, you rogue. Come, tell me. Try not to satisfy my four dark divas of destruction. That's right, those hamsters could probably pass for mice, right? So maybe you can defeat Monica and Monami with your hamsters. I already told you. These hamsters mere are merely their temporary form. A fiend like you is incapable of imagining what would happen once they shed their transient guises. <laughs> <laughs> Ignorance is horrendous. That is why I am only interested to converse with humans once in a while. He gave me a roundabout excuse that makes no sense, but I guess my guess is he doesn't want to put them in danger. Beep, beep, beep. Hey, are you okay? Those stra strange mechanical noises sounds coming from your body. No, I guess it's okay since he's a robot now. It makes sense that he makes mechanical noises now. That sound means I'm feeling emotionally charged right now. I, I see. Your body makes noises based on your feelings. Okay. <laughs> Just now I activated a new function. A new function. Are you serious? Is it flight? Can you really fly? Now then, prepare yourself. Oh my god. Okay, Kazuichi, you're annoying the frick out of me right now. Like, get off of him! Like, I don't care. Like, this is just me as being a friend at this point. Get off of him! Don't fucking murder him! Because if you dismember him, he fucking dies. And then you die with him, and I will be grateful if you die, and you end up actually killing the reincarnation of Nakamaru. Oh no. It's a clock. Is that a clock? I'm able to sense the passage of time. I don't even need to look at clocks anymore. Whether it's training, meals, or baths, there's no doubt this feature is useful in a variety of situations. Man, it actually comes out of your chest. What are you, a cuckoo clock? Hold on. A cuckoo clock? Don't compare me to one of those everyday clocks. Ooh. It's a highly effective, efficient radio clock. Radio clock? Uh. <clears throat> it's a type of clock that receives radio signals, so it can automatically update as the time, at, update the time at fixed intervals. Simply put, an extremely accurate clock. Oh. That's right. It's a clock that's never will, sl will never slow down, and it is even designed so that it cannot be adjusted. <laughs> <laughs> I have become a time lord. Well, even if it's an accurate clock, they didn't need to install it inside of your body. What? what are you saying? I don't need to wear a wristwatch ever again. There's nothing more useful than this. That Monokuma, he's definitely toying with people's bodies. I probably can't go in it yet. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Huh? It's locked. Maybe a bunch of mice are pressed up against the other side of that door. I'm just thinking about it. It's too awful. No, not mice. No, not mice. They're gonna chant through my ears. Oh my god. Anyway, it looks like we can't go in here. It looks like we can all leave again. Okay. Okay, well, we found five of the eight other students. So, there must be only one other. Like, there's probably two places, but one that has multiple people. There's even a roller coaster here? Well, obviously, since this is a music park. Rah, too bad. It is still under maintenance. The ride isn't tense enough yet. I am in the middle of powering it up like crazy. I don't need to think. I don't think you need. I don't think you need to do that. It's not like anyone's going to ride this ride anyway. No, no. Don't say that. I've also prepared a prize for you. You're planning to debate us for the prize again? Look forward to it. Anyway, okay. please enjoy the other attractions first. I'll make sure you finish. I finish the maintenance by then. Now I should come, for now I should come back here after I checked out the other areas. What am I going to do? I should think about that when that time comes. Oh, hi, Akane. Yahoo! A roller coaster! Roller coasters are the only reason that I go to a music park, so there's nothing like a thrill of the ride. ride. Apparently it's still under maintenance, but I'll be the first to ride it as soon as it's fixed. Okay, Akane, you do that. Um, I definitely wouldn't trust Monokuma with my life like that. I mean, we kind of are by being here, but we probably didn't, like, entrust Monokuma. We, we were probably not the... Oh, Funhouse. I do like the aesthetics of this chapter, though. Ah, why are you here? It's like a building of a fairy tale minus the creepy-looking train. I don't really understand this concept. What kind of attraction is this supposed to be? 
Uh, we're supposed to find clues about the future foundation in a, an amusement park. Hey. How about you? Did you find anything? Like your school profile, maybe? No. I should investigate here a little bit more. It's supposed to be a cute looking train, but this, the design totally ruins it. Roar! Oh, welcome to my fun house! Fun house? Yes, indeed. With this train I'm conducting, I shall take you to the fun house. Nonetheless, your body will be crushed asunder by then. Then there's no way I'm writing that thing. Rawr, rawr, rawr. You'd never be able to write it anyway. Hey, you know, um, in order to go to the fun house, all you guys have to ride this train. All of us. So... If you want to try to go to the fun house, you gotta assemble everyone here. Nonetheless, your body will be crushed asunder by then. This obviously smells fishy. It's clearly a trap. I've decided I'm never going to ride this thing. Oh, right. I think it's time that I headed over to the roller coaster. Cool, back to the roller coaster. I feel like we're gonna have to ride that thing at some point, though. I don't think we're gonna have a choice. And now we're all here. Yo. Everybody's here. Want me to tell hey, you? Hey, you want me to? No, you want to know something cool? According to Monokuma, well, we all, we'll all get a treat if we ride that roller coaster together. Hey. I'm not riding that thing. Didn't I tell you I get crazy car sick? Welcome. Welcome to the main attraction of this amusement park. The great ultra delicious coaster. Hey, hey. Is that true? Well, that we'll get a prize for riding this? Of course. Sure thing. What's the prize? No oh no. That's a surprise for after you ride this thing. This hey, do we really have to all ride this together? Didn't saying? I tell you already? Or are those eyes for, or ears just for decoration? Shut up, shut up. No, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> now, now, it's gonna be fine. The throw eyes are sweet. I already know. Everyone who likes them always says that, but I already know that they're not fun at all. Even so. But there's a possibility that the surprise is gonna be those ship parts, you know? Uh. That might be true, but um. might I ask, where will this ride take us? Nope. It won't take us anywhere. It'll just circle around and come back here. What is the meaning behind that? You fiend. Have you never gone on an amusement park? I am ashamed. I am embarrassed to say that we do not have these in my country. I see. I've only gone to an amusement park once during my childhood. Listen well. But it was an amusement park in hell filled with man-eating demons. Huh? Huh? There's amusement parks in hell? No. I've never heard such a thing. By all means, next, please allow me to accompany you and accompany hey, me. Hey, hey. Please allow me to accompany me. Accompany you next time, Jesus. Um, that was an unintended thing. Okay, never mind. Don't do it, Miss Sonia. This guy's got a habit of lying. <laughs> the entrance fee is blood of a virgin. I shall offer up your blood as tribute. Damn! Damn! Oh, that's a shame. It seems my blood cannot be used. Ah! <laughs> I don't I don't think she knows what that means. Are you kidding me? Oh, what does that mean, Miss Sonia? Hey. hey everyone. It is just going to be a waste of time if we stand here around like this. See? Why don't we just try writing it? That's obviously Hold wrong. on! Why 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 do we have to just try writing it? <laughs> Nekamaru, can I leave it this to you? Understood. Leave it to me! Hey, 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 stop hey. it, stop it! Please let me go! Let me go! But despite his des desperate struggling, Kazuichi got stuffed under the roller coasters. All aboard the great, ultra great, delicious roller coaster. With Monica's sh shout, the roller coaster took off at maximum speed. G-force! Be still, my heart! This is so much fun! I, I, I'm gonna die! Let me die! Yes, indeed! Alright, we've arrived, so how was it? Wasn't it that fun? So it's finally over. That was a little too intense. <laughs> hey, hey, let's go on it one more time! I agree, once more. No freaking way! Hey, more importantly, where's our treat? Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah! Right, here you go. 
The train is a file! Huh? The symbol. It's the same symbol that was on the door of the ancient ruin. So this file must be a file from the future foundation. Will it be able to will we be able to find out who they are if we look at this? Hey. Is it alright if I check inside? Here. Sure thing! Do whatever you like. We gathered around Nagito as he received the file, and we stared at him intensely and he carefully turned to the pages. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, this is a callback! I remember all of these moments! Mondo throwing the bomb, all of us be getting together for our first freaking breakfast, then everybody getting our first motive, all the way down to Hina getting slashed, resulting in Ogami's thing. I should probably preface, I should have, I'm gonna preface, I'm gonna make like an edit preference that says, spoilers the first game, and then to us getting out. Hope's Peak Academy ironically became the site for this killing school life. The mastermind behind the plan locked the students inside the academy and forced them to kill each other. The students were pushed to their limit, eventually reaching a state of heightened paranoia. And then that's how the killing game began. The killings committed by those students lasted several days, but at a certain point, the curtain suddenly fell. A group of students united at this and staged a counterattack against the mastermind, who paid with their life. Ah! With this, six students finally survived and were able to escape the academy. Kyoko, my girl! Uh, and Yakia and, um, and Hina! Hero, unfortunately. But Byakuya, Kyoko, and Hina! Toko wasn't that bad either! That's still the same page as on the one side. Wait. Hey, aren't those photos on the left? Photos of the six people who survived. Or, oh, that was, I read that under the wrong person. Uh, Nagita, why do you know this? Then, what does this mean? Why is he in the photo? No. Okay. We're gonna get confirmation on Talka or by Byakia, aren't we? I looked down to see what Nag or Nagito was pointing. That's right! Okay, so we finally got the confirmation! Oh Lordy, we finally got the confirmation! We've waited so long for this! I said that I would not treat it that way until we got confirmation that that was the case. It's finally begun. Okay. Okay. This is good. We're here for it. We finally got that confirmation we were so we were looking for. Huh? He was so much thinner, as if he was actually an entirely different person. But he looked exactly like someone we knew. The ultimate affluent prodigy, Byakuya Togami. He looked exactly like him, the first victim on this island. What? This definitely looks like Byakuya. Impossible! Why is Byakuya in a photo in here? This is... This... What does this mean? Hey, 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 like, hey, hey! What about this cooling school trip? What are they talking about? Yep. It looks like the killings were involved in a resemble to set the skills. Looks like the killings were in re involved in resemble the set of killings that happened here, and it, that took place inside of Hope Speak Academy. Hey, bastard! Hold on! Did these fucked up killings actually happen inside the Hope Speak That's Academy? That's not possible. possible. There is no way teachers or police would ever let that Let happen. Ask. However, if the Future Foundation. World Ender was the one who initiated this. What? You mean that organization was the one who took over Hope Speak Academy then? Of course not. That's not possible. How stupid. If Byakia was still alive, we wouldn't we would have been able to learn about the details of this. How unfortunate. However. However, we lost our memories, correct? That should have applied to Byakia as well. Also, Byakia never said a word about being or 
about such a past actually existing. Let me tell you. Well, this. he was actually killed before he could. So he became the first victim before he could tell us about any of this? Ah, uh, perhaps that's what Byakia was planning to talk to me about. I cannot talk about to the others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Discuss distrusting others and being distrusted in turn for a long time, my life has been a living hell. Was he specifically referring to this killing school life? Hey. Anyways, as long as Byakia is no longer with us, we have no choice but to ask Wanakuma. How did the killing school life that occurred in Hope Peak Academy relate to this island? Hey. The only thing I can say is, all the answers are in the school memories that were taken away. You... Give them back! Give those memories back to us! No, no! No, no. The Future Foundation has your, took your memories, and I can't do anything about that in my current state. Possible. Oh, regardless, it is unforgivable. I will never forgive those who try to trample hope. They should all be destroyed. <sighs> Ugh, it's making it not, isn't making sense again. How fucking annoying. Hey. Whatever, man. Just leave me. Let me go back home. Where the hell is the ship parked? Who knows? They should be somewhere on this island. However, I have searched this island once through, but I did not find any ship parts anywhere. No, the fun house should still be left. This too. Based on what I've heard, we cannot access out. or we cannot access it unless we are gathered together. Correct. Correct. Ding ding. Correct. That's right, he treats you. Or the treats you can't find yet are all hidden inside the fun house. Hey! Then the ship parts should be there too, right? No, not just the ship parts. He means all the treats. He incl that includes our Hope Peak Academy student profiles, which means a clue about my talent should be in there too. It might be a trap. It very well could be a trap, but it's like we're it's like we're already caught in the trap. Then everyone, let's go. Let's try going to the fun house. However, I see. Is that really all right? The fun house, that creepy looking building, right? But we have no other choice. I mean, we might be able to obtain the ship parts if we go there. <laughs> ah, and learn the secret about Hajime's talent, too. Yep. Fine. I think we should go and listen to Hajime and head over to the fun house as well. <laughs> Looks like you guys have decided. I, I, I have to prepare wait. all things, so I'll go be going there first. See you later! Mm. I'm not really on board with this idea, but. If everyone says they're going to go, I guess I have no other choice. I guess I have to go with everyone. I shall engulf this Plunging yourself into a trap in an act of sheer madness. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes it truly interesting. Then it's decided. Maybe it's because we were shown a new mystery from that future foundation file, but I was panicking. I couldn't help or couldn't keep still after being forced to see more mysteries that didn't make sense. I felt like I didn't even care that it was a trap. And because of that panic, I had completely forgot. Monokuma's traps are always far beyond our imagination. I completely forgot about that. And in the next episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, we are going to be tackling this funhouse, seeing what it has in store. And we'll see you guys then.